Hello friends, welcome to my channel Physics with Raksi. In the present video, I will compare three important equations of quantum mechanics that I have explained and derived in my YouTube channel. That is Schrodinger equation, klein gordon equation, and Dirac equation. By this comparison, I am sure that viewers can understand these three equations with more clarity. Let us see. First point of discrepancy is Schrodinger equation is second order differential equation at left hand side, while it is first order differential equation at right hand side. Second order differential equation with respect to position and first order differential equation with respect to time, while claim Gordon equation is completely second order differential equation. While Dirac equation is completely first order differential equation. Because of this feature of Schrodinger equation, it is a bit difficult to handle mathematically. While claim Gordon equation is easy to handle comparison to Schrodinger equation, and Dirac equation is easy to handle, though it has more new mathematical operators or mathematical operations. Schrodinger equation is known relativistic wave equation as it cannot incorporate special theory of relativity. While klein gordon equation is completely relativistic wave equation and Dirac equation is also relativistic wave equation. Schrodinger equation is written as h cut square over 2m del square psi is equal to minus i h cut del psi over del t. There are three forms of klein gordon equation that is h cut square del square phi over del t square minus h cut square c square del square phi plus m square c raised to 4 phi is equal to 0. Second form is del square phi over del t square minus del square phi plus m square phi is equal to 0. Third form is by considering dl over t and operator that is square plus m square bracket closes into phi is equal to 0. Here we have considered h squared is equal to c is equal to 1 by considering natural units. Dirac equation is written as in bracket i gamma s to mu which is gamma matrix del mu minus l bracket close into psi is equal to 0. So let us see actual physical significance of these three equations. Schrodinger equation describes how quantum states of physical system changes over time, while klein gordon equation describes scalar particle having zero spin, for instance, Higgs boson, but it predicts negative energy and negative probability density, which is a bit difficult to accept, as it is mathematical anomaly, which is removed in Dirac equation. So, Dirac equation predicts presence of antimatter in universe. We know that antimatter is a kind of matter which has same mass but opposite Z charge, for instance, electron and positron. It also describes all one half spin particles, for instance, electrons and quarks. Schrodinger equation uses wave function, that is sine of xt, also uses mathematics of quantum mechanics but it lacks special theory of relativity. And that is why it is equation of quantum mechanics. klein gordon equation uses phi is equal to phi of x t function of space and time also uses mathematics of relativity. And that is why it is equation that belongs to quantum field theory. So, by unifying quantum mechanics with special theory of relativity, we can have quantum field theory. Similarly, Dirac equation uses gamma matrix, by spinner psi. It also uses mathematics of relativity. So it is also equation of quantum field theory. Thanks for listening and watching. If you like my video, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any question regarding comparison between these three equations, you can ask in the comment section.